Molino. Now on balance, we want to honor our Scholar of the Week tonight. This is a partnership, of course, with Project Lift. Tonight's scholar is Abigail Macedo. She's a fifth grader at uh, Bronze Academy. One of her teachers, Mrs. Mackenzie Shepard, is also here with her. Uh, uh, let's give her a little bit of applause for me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> here, right there. Abigail, let me tell you, the first time I've ever heard the Gita Mac, and this is a big deal. She said, I really like this young lady. I love Abigail because she's spunky. You know what the word spunky means? Mm, you got lot, no. It means you got a lot of fight to you. You're like ready to go, right? Okay, okay all right, here we go. What, <laughs> congratulations on making the honor roll. I saw this and I was a little jealous because it never happened to me. I did it twice. But you made the honor roll three years in a row, earning a team leader award. What, uh, that's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now tell us, how did you uh, make the honor roll uh, three years in a row? What, did, what kind of work had to go into doing that? Um, I just try to do my best, and I just let everyone encourage me. And my mom, my mom helps me a lot with my homework. Okay, that's always good, but she just kind of urges you. She, she makes sure you do it, but she mm -hmm. gives you a little bit of a guidance, correct? All right. Now you're also nominated by your fourth grade class as future president. Uh, do you want to be president one day, like the, the big president? Um, m maybe. Okay. I want to be the first um, lady president. I like that. I like that. Somebody might beat you to it, but I'm not sure. But there's a good chance for that. Now, let me ask you yeah. this. Um, would you, what would be your slogan? Because we talked about that a little earlier. What would be your slogan? Would, um, I, I got one. I, I told you, vote for Abigail. She'll never fail. You like that one? <laughs> Don't you like that? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, how are you so successful in school? What do, what do you apply yourself with, and what's your favorite subject? Um, I just usually apply myself to to all the work. Look, if I see some work, I'll just finish it, and then I'll ask for more so I could get extra credit. Oh wow! And then yes. my favorite subject is reading because I get a like I get to get one to the I get to get to into the book. So oh, okay. if it's like a nonfiction book, I get to learn about the world, and if it's a fiction book, I get to go into a new adventure. Oh, fantastic! I tell you what, that is that is <laughs> great to hear. Now, what is your dream in life? What do you what do you want to be one day when you grow up? Maybe twenty years ahead. Um, I want to be a singer and an actor. Can you sing? Are you a big Are you a big singer? You want to You want to sing a tune real quick? Are you um, You want to sing something? <laughs> sure. Go ahead. Go ahead and belt something out real quick. It'll just a little couple of lines. Go um, ahead. What's your favorite song? Um, I have a lot of favorite songs. You, 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 give me something. Give me just a. Um, how about Becky G singing in the shower? Okay, go right ahead. I like it. Um, I like that. I like that one. <laughs> okay. Um. You light me up inside like the 4th of July Whenever you're around, I always seem to smile And people ask me how, but you're the reason why I'm dancing in the mirror and singing in the shower Oh, man. Oh, man. You did that right there on the spot. This is not playing, people. I just put her on the spot and she just rose to the occasion. If you could meet anyone in the world, who would it be and why? The first lady, Michelle Obama. The first lady, Be Michelle Obama. I would, like, I would like to meet her because she really encourages people. And she's not just that girl who's always into all that makeup and all that pretty dresses. She, like, encourages people to be strong and be encouraged to do right. Yes, and be healthy, too. She's a big uh, health uh, person as well. I want to, you are just wonderful. I, tell you, mm, I want to talk to you, uh, Mrs. Shepard. I can see what you're going to say about her. I mean, because she's phenomenal. I mean, you, you've seen her right here in the classroom. She's just as spunky, as you said. She's, she's always engaged. She's always wanting more and wanting to participate. It's one of those model students. She, you wish you had 20 of her. But she, does she, dri she drives other people. I oh, would imagine she, other students as well. Mm-hmm. She, she works hard, and she is a role model for the other students. You see her working hard, so you want to push yourself to work as hard as she does. Yes. And I couldn't be happier. And you hear everything she says she wants to be. She probably can achieve that. Oh, yeah. you, you like Without to see that in the future, you, too. You hear her singing. You, you see her. She is the drive. Well, thank you so <laughs> much for being here. Abigail, we just want to say one more time, Congratulations on a job well done in school, and we want to thank Mrs. Shepard for inspiring our next generation of learners. We posted Abigail's biography online. Just go to wbtv.com slash scholar. Uh, one more round of applause. Can I get that again? You are amazing. We'll be right back.